Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. AMCA is the most ambitious program of India to indigenously develop a 5 plus generation swing role fighter jet which only handful of countries in the world have achieved. The progress being made in the development of AMCA in recent years have been commendable. MK is going to incorporate all the latest technologies, advanced sensors, weapons, electronics, avionics powered by artificial intelligence. Besides, it will also host 6th generation and some of the niche technology which is not present in the present day fighter. The fighter is being designed to dominate the sky from day one due to its stealth, sensors and weapons and keeping in mind its futuristic relevance. Recently, ADA has revealed many important information related to MK sensors and development progress which we will be discussing in detail. If you closely observe the fuselage of F-35 at the front below the nose cone section, you will find a sensor looking like a sapphire which is called EOTS or Electro-Optical Targeting System. This system is similar in concept to a large high resolution infrared and television camera which is widely used to visually identify and monitor ground targets. It helps to enhance pilots situational awareness and allow air crews to identify areas of interest, perform reconnaissance and precisely target and deliver laser and GPS guided weapons. However, one can get confused between EOTS IRST and targeting pod. A targeting pod is a target designation tool used by fighter jets to identify targets and guiding precision guided munition such as laser guided bombs to those targets. An IRST sensor makes use of imaging infrared sensors to track targets in double or even triple digits. Typhoon Spirit for example can track 500 targets. EOTS is two-in-one system. It has capability of both FLIR or a targeting pod and IRST sensor. It's housed inside the nose of the fighter jet which greatly increases the stealth and aerodynamic characteristic of the fighter. As per the latest tender document issued by DRDO, it seems that EOTS being developed for AMCA is ready and its flight trials will commence soon. The test bed for EOTS is going to be Hawker 800 aircraft which has earlier been used for testing Uttam AES radar as well. The integration of EOTS with the aircraft should be within one month of signing the contract followed by the flight test of 30 hours over the period of 2.5 months. Recently few details related to MK was also released which includes its dimension, stealth and non-stealthy configurations. Some of the most prominent features of AMCA, which is also found in the most of the 5th generation fighter aircraft is stealthy design, use of composite material and radar absorbent materials. It will feature diverterless supersonic serpentine intake to reduce its heat signatures and an internal weapons bay. The fighter jet will be 17.6 meter in length with a wingspan of 11.13 meter, height of 4.5 meter and wing area of 55 meters square. The empty weight of fighter jet is going to be 12,000 kg with internal fuel carrying capacity of 6,500 kg. If you compare the dimensions of MK with F-35 Lightning II, it is slightly more in length, height and wingspan but it is still lighter than F-35 which shows the amount of composite material to be used in fighter and which is going to be more and eventually more stealthy. The internal bay of MK can carry payload of 1500 kg and external pylons can carry 5000 kg. MK can operate in both stealthy and non-stealthy configuration. MK has a maximum takeoff weight of 20,000 kg in stealthy configuration and in non-stealthy configuration its maximum takeoff weight is 25,000 kg. The design configuration of MK is frozen. Its preliminary design review is complete for the aircraft. At present, fighter jet is in a critical design review. The CDR of the fighter jet is expected to be complete by mid of this year. 
Once the CDR is complete, EMCA will be ready for prototype development. The first prototype rollout is planned by 2023 and the first flight by 2024, which is not very far away, just two years from now. There could be delay of three to six months in the first flight, but not more than that as the government is focused towards getting EMCA rolled out as soon as possible. HL is looking to commence production between 2026 to 2028 and full-fledged production will commence by 2029. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.